I can answer questions and talk about any other things that you might be interested in related to this issue. There's so many issues. Well, th thank you. Thank you for all of that, Theodora. And um, just eye-opening and frightening and alarming and aggravating. And, um, and we're glad you're here to enlighten us. So uh, yeah, I, I already see some questions coming in. Uh, thanks again for sharing your, your website. I know that'll be a valuable resource for everybody. Just want to make sure everybody, and obviously some people already do, want to make sure everybody knows how we go about taking our questions for our Q&A session with you. Uh, so I'm just going to go over that real quickly. Um, for those of you that don't know, we normally don't take questions directly from the chat. And what we do is we ask you to raise your hand, and your virtual hand, and we'll go ahead and take the questions with those raised hands in the order in which they come. So if you don't know how to raise your hand, uh, down at the bottom of your Zoom window, there are different tabs. One of them is called a reactions tab. You can click on your reactions tab. And when you do that, a few different emojis pop up and one of them is the raise hand function. You click on that, we will see your hand raised. We'll take them in the order in which they come in. And, uh, and I will go ahead and call on your name and I'll unmute you and you'll be able to ask your question of Theodora Scarato. And Theodora, if you're ready, we'll, uh, we'll go right ahead. Yes, and I'm putting in the chat some links, how to take exposure and so forth. So I hope that will be very helpful. I'm, I'm certain it will. Thank you for doing that. That's, that's great. And, um, and so with that, we're gonna get started and I'm gonna go to Ruth. Ruth, I'm unmuting you and welcome Ruth. Thank you. This was has been absolutely fascinating. And oh, I don't know where to begin. I know I'm surrounded by people who I don't think are going to pay very much attention to this, unfortunately, uh, young grandchildren and stuff. But anyway, maybe I can make a start. I have two questions. Um, the first one is I'm in Canada. And uh, um, I'm just wondering who I would contact here. The second question has to do with uh, a Clarity phone that I have. Um, we, we have it plugged in beside the bed. There's a plug and then there's um, an attachment that goes into the, into the wall, um, like into the phone, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, phone jack? Yeah, yeah, there's there's a phone thing. And then there's there seems to be something attached to it. Uh, and then we have other phones that are attached to this around the house. So but this one, th this has a cord on it. So I'm just not understanding what kind of phone this is. It's a clarity. Um, um, and I don't know if I should remove it um completely well does it have a so this is my phone does it have a curly cord it's got a curly cord on it yes and it doesn't have any wireless capability well i i i think it might i don't know i'm, I'm not sure how would i find out um you could look it up so it's called a clarity phone yes it's a smart it says clarity smart for seniors um, it's an E814 amplified. Okay, no, uh, corded phone with digital, with a digital answering machine, or is it just with digital cordless handset? Optional, which we 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 did buy quite a number of years ago. So um, my power requirements. Um, yeah, where I guess I should find this information in the back. Handset charger base. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, handset charger base. So that means there are some phones that have a cord, but they also are a base that are wireless where you have little, oh, I didn't bring an example right here, but you have little handsets that are all around the house that connect to it. Yes. So that is a home cordless phone that also has wired. You want to actually not have that phone near your bed. And okay. in fact, the base is emitting all the time. So I would replace that with all corded phones. If you need to have a cordless phone, at least unplug it when you're not using it. And certainly at night, that's like the first step people do is at night, but mm -hmm. home corded phones base, you don't want any, you really don't want anything wired or connected uh, in the bedroom. However, you can have a regular corded phone 
in the bedroom that's connected with a wire, but not if it's a base. Um, and a lot of people report when they get rid of, I know our family did, it was sleeping a lot better without all of this wireless. There are many phones that are amplified so that you can hear them, but are not wireless. But you do need to go online to get those. What a big help, Theodora. Thank you for that. And uh, really thank you for your question. And we're now going to move on to Ainsley. And I am unmuting you now. Hi, Ainsley. Hi, morning, everyone. Ainsley from Trinidad. We're in the Caribbean. And um, I said in the chat, we have the little cell towers even at our bus stops. So it is actually like, I should say, head level. You could, you could write something on it. You can write an advertisement on these little cell towers. But I am very angry right now. I'm not angry at you, but I mean at the, the information that we have now that has been harming us for so long. We have been trying so, so far to be healthy, doing the right thing, but we are being assaulted every day. My question to you is, have you ever approached one of those movie producers like Steven Spielberg to get this out there? I mean, we have reached this, we have reached this, I don't know, this movie like Bridget Fonda, Point of No Return, that when we speak, people say, ah, that's nonsense. You're talking nonsense. But now we have somebody like you that can actually talk to these producers to get this out here. I mean, out there, but I mean, it, it's, it's an assault. I'm disgusted by it, not at you. Thank you so much for sharing with us this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you so much. And mm. if you can reach Spielberg or any of the movie producers, please contact them, contact us, help us get the message out. We don't have the path to do that. We have been trying to, for example, reach Dolly Parton because if you watch the Super Bowl, there was an advertisement where she pulled a cell phone out of her bra and said, we need to help these 5G phones. And what Miley, Cy Miley Cyrus is doing a song about 5G phones. And yet, and, and we, uh, we, we, this is what where we need to get to. Absolutely. And, you know, I've talked to, I just had a call with um, a lot of the islands. There are people organizing. Uh, I talked to someone from Jamaica yesterday and the Cayman Islands. We've, we've talked there. Um, if you go to the other part of the ocean, we've done presentations to Bermuda uh, when they were looking at this issue. The people, the community, they were all organized. We had the science, the policy. We had the former uh, president of Microsoft Canada speaking on this issue. And yet they still went through and opened the door to cell towers and said, no harm proven. So this has got to change. If you are in your community and trying to make a change and people aren't listening to you, please go to our website, get the science to share with them, contact us. We are glad to meet with elected officials and in community meetings so everyone can be elevated with this information and share it. And I also meant to add, um, if you're in Canada, there's Canadians for Safe Technology. There's also Citizens for Safe Technology. And Frank Clegg is a Canadian, former Microsoft Canada president. And he has an organization working just like we are on this issue. Um, so thank you. And we do need to, this, we are being occupied by our technology. Uh, it's, it's occupying us. It's leading us. We should be leading how techno we want technology to be. It should not just be that we have what the drop down menu offers us. We should be designing technology and be a part of the process, but we're being cut out for the bottom line. Thank you, Theodore. Very interesting. It's almost like the thoughts of uh, creating an Erin Brockovich type movie that that calls out some of these things. And yet, you know, even if you can get a hold of the producers, you know, are they going to be so open to produce something like this when so much of Hollywood is funded by these industries? So tough, tough, not an easy answer, right? Um, I'm going to move on now to Annette. Annette, you are unmuted. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I have a couple of questions. One is my iPhone is still 4G. It's an iPhone 11. Is that as dangerous as the 5G? 
And the other question is, I wear hearing aids that are Bluetooth and my phone calls are streamed through my hearing aids, of course, directly into my ears. Um, is that at a level of danger or health risk having hearing aids? Okay, those are two good questions. I'll go to the hearing aids and then your, your first question was- I have 4G phone. 4G, I have phone okay. 11 and I don't know. And plus I, I have it charging on my nightstand right next to my head. I'm, a, I'm afraid of losing a, maybe an important phone call in the middle of the night. Um, anyway. So yeah, if you can get a wired regular phone for your bedroom for emergencies, and you can forward your cell phone to the corded line, landline. Some of you may have a copper landline. Now, many of you will say, I haven't had one of those in years. Get a voice over IP or an internet phone, uh, which you like, I can't get a copper landline where I am at this point. I have to pay through it through my uh, internet provider. And then that goes to the house. And then we have plugs in the house that it all connects. Uh, so there are a lot of tips and tricks uh, for some people. If you have to have a phone in the bedroom, please put it not near your bed, far away from your head. Um, and you don't want to charge your cell phone, even if it, you're charging it without the wireless on, because actually there are extremely low frequency fields that come off of charging wires. So you want to have all electrical cords away from where you sleep. Um, re related to your phone, we the newer phones have more and more antennas and they do more and more things and they're harder to turn off those antennas. So we uh, are very concerned about the new 5G phones. Um, however, the 4G, 2G and 3G, all of the Gs that are wireless are wireless radiation. So you wanna try to reduce your exposure no matter what it is. In fact, if you have a 5G phone, you're probably using uh, 4G technology, not uh, the uh, 5G for the most part, because most of those systems are for industry uses actually. Uh, they're using phones, but they also have like machine to machine or self-driving cars or drones or surveillance and all these other things that are being uh, put in communities, which have nothing to do with our phones actually. So, but yet our phones can connect to it. Um, so with all phones, you want to practice safer use of the cell phone. And um, if you have a, a, as I talked about, a cordless phone, go to wired. So to your um, Bluetooth, sometimes, and all uh, hearing aids are different, but sometimes they're just receivers. They're not transmitting. But what is transmitting is your cell phone. So you don't want to have that cell phone on your lap when something is being transmitted to your um, hearing aids. For each hearing aid, it's important to find out the make and model. Is it transmitting, which I, you need to, to look into that. Normally it's receiving. Um, and we do recommend trying to not use um, wireless and, and keep it at a distance. And that is something that needs to be fixed. I mean, there are a lot of things we can do ourselves. We can make all these changes in our lives, but there's a lot of things we, we actually can't fix until we have regulatory change, safer limits, till we have more rules for the companies so that they can make safer technology. It is possible they can do it, but they need the people to be uh, telling them what they want. So thank you.